Alright, so hey everyone, uh, today I want to take a look at Destiny 2 and its dead zones, as well as uh, request a few options to uh, improve uh, the controls for this game. So to take a look at the dead zone, uh, it's a 23%, about a 23% rounded square dead zone. 23% uh, is a pretty common dead zone size um, within the standard ranges. But it is large, uh, you can see just how much stick movement you can make uh, without anything occurring in-game. Uh, the shape is actually made of a circular dead zone being built on top of an axial dead zone. Uh, the dead zone sizes are probably exactly 12% for each. Uh, we just see 23% as the general dead zone size because uh, the circular dead zone is relative to the remaining range of the uh, uh, from the actual dead zone to the uh, outer dead zone. So uh, the circular portion is always going to be a little smaller than expected. Now, uh, because of that, it's important that we get um, two dead zone options uh, to control each. Um, this is something that we've seen expressly with uh, Halo 5. Um, Halo 5 just offered the radial portion and left the axial dead zone. And uh, with Master Chief Collection and Halo Infinite, of having separate options, uh, that's really clear how this dead zone would be customized. The axial portion is responsible for these restricted diagonal regions, so you can make bobbing motions like this, and in this case move perfectly horizontally. It isn't until you move into these green regions where you start seeing diagonal movement occur, and this is most obvious when capping the view like this, where you see only see diagonal movement occur once you break out of these axial regions. Uh, this makes it so that your diagonal movement is pretty much all wrong because so much of the stick angles are uh, just only allowed to output four directions and while you don't lose the rest of the restricted diagonal movement you have to uh, move the stick um, more drastically and irregularly to uh, manage to hit those angles. Uh, the acceleration curve, uh, you can see where the dead zones included, um, uh, starts out, this is actually, the curve itself is basically identical to reach, that's pretty unsur unsurprising, uh, but the acceleration jump is a little larger. Uh, it'd be nice to have options to customize the curve as well as the amount of acceleration. Uh, I don't know if the curve they're using plays well with customization, but some granular customization so that players could, who like, say, more linear curves can play that way, or some, uh, um, value in between can be able to customize that to their preference. Uh, some players don't like this jump in acceleration, so uh, being able to disable this would be requested, but a slider allowing players to disable this uh, or even add more or something in between uh, to their preference uh, would be great. Uh, an issue is that the vertical sensitivity is lower than the horizontal sensitivity. This is very common in games, but has a few issues. One, uh, some players just want them to be even, and um, doing this, that's obviously not an option for them. But this also affects diagonal movement. So uh, it makes your angles more biased towards the more sensitive axis. So uh, I'm, I'm in this place just because I tried to using this uh, frame as a reference point. So if you moved at a 45 degree angle at the corner of a square, uh, you'd expect to meet at the other corner of the square. Of course, this thing's rectangle, but uh, you'd expect to land somewhere over here if this was a perfect 45 degree um, thing. But as we'll see, um, if you move at a perfect 45 degree angle, it's quite a bit more shallow. And so all your angles uh, that you have access to are all horizontally biased because the horizontal sensitivity is higher than the vertical. And uh, something I'd like to request is a, uh, separating the look sensitivity into horizontal and vertical, and ideally making the sliders uh, weighted the same. There's a lot of games that offer both, but the vertical sensitivity is uh, still less than the horizontal. This is the case with modern halos. And uh, ideally, that wouldn't be the case. If you set, you know, a 5-5, five, five, they should be identical. Uh, the, the exact ratio that's default is whatever, but um, the slider should be the same. 
Uh, that would allow players to set them even if they want, and then that then their diagonals wouldn't be affected uh, because of that. Uh, another thing is this acceleration jump. Uh, this threshold is actually off screen or off this graph. Uh, that's just because the axle dead's warping it a bit. Um, but the horizontal and uh, vertical accelerations are separate. The thresholds overlap very slightly, uh, like right around here. But um, as you can see, the vertical acceleration is being applied. And I'll actually, this will be important just a bit, lower the sensitivity. So, um, if I push fully, the acceleration is active, but if I pull off, you can see that it slows down a little bit. Active, inactive, active, inactive. In many other games, if you pass by uh, this threshold, it would be, uh, you'd see horizontal acceleration apply too, because it's the acceleration is applying to both axes evenly. Here, it's applying to one or the other within these ranges. Uh, the only time both are applying is like the slight overlap uh, at the perfect diagonals. Now this is a problem for the same reason differing sensitivities is a problem because that affects diagonal movement and we can actually see that pretty dramatically here. So I'm going to try to aim here. So if we move more horizontally, we're moving more horizontally, but if we move to the more to the vertical acceleration, you can see that the angle changed very clearly. And I didn't make a movement that would be, you know, change the angle that abruptly. That's just the acceleration pivoting um, the two. So ideally this would be changed to be a unified threshold so that um, the acceleration applies evenly to both axes and diagonal movement wouldn't be affected um, just because of that. But moving on to the movement, uh, movement is pretty much identical to the uh, aiming, with the exception of the circular portion of the dead zone is a little larger, making the general dead zone slightly larger. But otherwise, we have the same restricted diagonal regions, and the same uh, separate axial and radial dead zones would be requested for movement. Um, the shaded region just represents the sprint threshold, so if your stick isn't within that shaded region, you aren't allowed to sprint. But if it is, then you can trigger a sprint. While you're sprinting, if you fall outside of this threshold, you stop sprinting. Either, you know, by moving under this range or uh, moving at an angle that's too far outside of this. Pretty simple. The last um, dead zone is for the menu cursor. and This is identical to the uh, aiming dead zone, uh, except there doesn't seem to be any kind of acceleration uh, at the edge of stick movement. But you can see the same restricted diagonal movements apply, and it's a little even easier to see diagonal movement occurring at the edges of these screens. Uh, really, the last thing I want to request are aim assist options. I mean, there's been a lot of players. There's a lot of players that don't believe it's possible to play without aim assist, but it absolutely is, and uh, the option should always be there. So, ideally, uh, very granular options for a separate. Um, the amount of slowdown when passing over a target and tracking, uh, separate options for that would be requested, but even a basic toggle uh, would work. It would also be nice to see uh, aim assist options for the menu. I mean, I think it's a little silly to have um, aim assist uh, over icons, but um, just having an option for that would be requested, though that's kind of a petty uh, request. But uh, that about covers everything, so to sum up things, uh, for both sticks, having separate axial and radial dead zones uh, for customization, uh, granular curve customization if possible, and uh, customization over the acceleration jump, separate uh, vertical and horizontal sensitivity sliders in the menu, Um, a unifying this acceleration jump threshold, so that doesn't affect uh, diagonal movement by itself. Uh, and an aim assist toggle. So uh, that about covers everything. So thanks for watching, and everyone, have a good rest of your day.